Steve here from Blossom Racing. Once again, uh, we're going to do a short little video today. Um, basically, uh, just how to hang your rod um, onto your piston. So, pretty straightforward and simple. So, here is our rod. This is our ARC 1 inch rod. This is a 6218 rod. Uh, the length is a 4.625. Uh, this is going in uh, one of our Rhino 3 engines. Uh, the piston, the Wysco piston right here. Uh, this is a 3.602 piston. Uh, this is the piston that we're going to hang the rod on. Uh, so we're just going to take everything out of the piston box and get it ready. All right. There's our piston. See our piston now has our logo and our name on it. Uh, something new from us, looks pretty cool. Uh, some of these we also put a name right up here. So kind of a little extra added thing there. So let's jump into this real quick. I'll just get the camera turned over here to my workstation. All right, now you can see what's going on. All right, so here's one of the tools that we're gonna be using to do this. This helps put the uh, spiral locks in. Uh, but this is a uh, quarter inch um, uh, drive uh, for your sockets. Kind of a brain fart there. All right, uh, we're gonna pull a hammer out and the uh, needle nose pliers curved a little bit, makes it easier for me. Um, then we got these uh, heavy duty wrist pins. These are what we're going to install. Um, now these pistons, uh, skirts are the same size on both sides, so there's, there, it's not a directional piston. Um, so it doesn't matter if uh, this side or this side is aiming towards the front or the rear of the block. Um, so either way will work. So basically, uh, all I'm gonna do is just test it first to make sure that the rod fits onto here without any problems. Uh, just put the wrist pin in like that and shove it all the way in and then to test these to make sure that you're not going to have any problems just take the rod and go back and forth and just make sure that there's no um, catching uh, make sure that the rod's not hitting on the uh, bottom side of the piston if the rod does hit on the back side of the piston See that quarter inch drive slides right through the uh, wrist pin hole. So that's why we use that. All right, so let's say for some odd reason, because some of these pistons do run into that problem, your, as you can see, this piston has a cutout, but every once in a while you'll get a piston that the rod actually hits there. So there's a few ways of clearancing that um, the first way is to uh, set this up in a mill, um, come in with uh, an end mill, uh, plunge it right down in there until you touch the aluminum. Uh, when you touch it, you're going to crank in about 20 thou is usually what I find. And, uh, and you're just going to cut that notch back and forth in between the wrist pin lines. Okay, uh, that is one way. Um, another way that I've seen people do it is I'll see people uh, put this on a belt sander and take a little bit off of this. Um, that's another way. It just depends on what kind of crunch you're in, what kind of hurry you're in. Um, so that's another way. Um, one more way is they'll take the piston and just the sander, a uh, little uh, hand sand wheel. And they'll just come in with the sander and kind of work it in there and clean it out. Okay. All right. So that's that. So this rod we know uh, is clearanced. Um, there's no binding. It's not touching. Um, you can also, if you want, put that together like that. Grab your feeler gauge, come in, slide it down in between the piston um, and the end of your rod. And as you can see, uh, it goes through there no problem. That's a 4,000 one. 
Um, let's try an eight thousandths. So eight thousandths, you know, that slides under as well. So this uh, this one's got good clearance on it. We'll call this piston good. Um, the rod, if you're looking at the rod, the size of the rod, which is 4.625, 4 4.225, 4.7, 4 4.275, uh, there's a whole bunch of sizes. But on the rods, it has a size uh, engraved in it. And on the other side, it has the date and the uh, manufacturing part number. Um, so when you install that into the motor and you're looking at it through the side cover, you should be able to read the length, not the um, manufacturing number and date on it. The date should be aiming away from you towards the mag side of the engine, uh, where the actual length of it will be uh, towards the PTO side. Um, once you have that in right, then your dipper's kind of curved to the right. So as it's running, um, it's going to come around and the dipper is going to get into the oil and fling it all over your entire motor. So, all right, so we got that done. So real quick, just going to shove, um, these spiral locks in. I know I did a bit video on the spiral locks at one time, how to install them. Um, so I'm not gonna run through that again. I'm just going to quickly do it. Um, shove it right down in there, get it lined up, and then I'm gonna tilt it to the side. I'm gonna twist it over. And there it's, uh, the spiral lock is now seated um, right there on that side. Now I gotta get this one in and I can't use that method with the needle nose on this side because the wrist pin is really close uh, to the edge of the piston here. So what I have to do with this one is take the spiral lock and I'm gonna kinda open it up um, kind of unspring it a little bit. So if you look at that, how I just opened it up, I just kind of pulled it apart like a spring, just made it so it kind of unsprung a little bit. Um, that's what I found so far as being the uh, easiest way to do this. And then you just take the spiral lock set it right down in there and then you're just going to kind of push it in and, and kind of get the whole thing worked in there just like that and then you just walk it around and then you just got the tip to get in and just kind of push it in Away it goes. And then take my quarter inch driver, tap that side, come over, tap this side, and then I'm just gonna visually inspect it and make sure that the uh, spiral lock is all down in the grooves and set to go. And that is how you uh, put the rod onto your piston. Uh, I'm gonna come out with a couple more videos uh, installing the piston into the block um, and a few other videos, so stay tuned. Thanks guys, have a great day.